Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. So this afternoon I was on Instagram and I saw Auntie Donna teaching how to cook brown stew fish. So as I know Thanksgiving is coming up and a lot of persons on my page that are not Jamaicans that would probably love how love to cook it and you know have it a part of their thanksgiving meal so i decided to share all right so have a look and learn sit down here and as you guys can see i'm making some brown stew fish and these fish were not bad from the seaside these are frozen fish that i get and i did not have any lemon so i use orange i improvise and use orange for them clean them up yes they are cleaned up here they are frozen fish and if you want it and i love to clean up our fish and stuff like that and um like orange and water and i'm just putting some more vinegar and i'm going to show you how i do my brown stew fish it's a long time until i don't do a cooking show and i'm Showing you guys now how I do my brown stew um, snapper fish today. Alrighty. So guys, welcome back. As you can see, the fish them clean up and put fish and dry them off. As you guys know, Auntie Dana only use Maggie season. Cause that's how I like. I try other season I'm gonna like them. So I use Maggie chicken and Maggie all purpose. Yes. I'm gonna use um salt and I'm nothing because I'm already having salt I mean I use a little pimento powder no black pepper can the pimento powder spicy by itself I don't know I can hold the phone and season the fish so but as I go combine it see there I mean I cook for myself but I cook for nobody and I'm gonna see how I combine it combine my season no salt now going on it I'm going to fix it up properly when we're done. We'll be clean properly. And then I'm going to put them on the fish inside and out and put them down to marinate a little bit. So I try to teach you know, step by step how me do my brown stew fish. Welcome back. I get somebody for all the phone. So I guess I season up the fish. And you can use black pepper if you want. I don't really use black pepper for fish. I don't know why sometimes I don't use it, sometimes I use it. This I just say pimento and the maggi. I'll maggi season them. I'm season them up. So I rest them down and you know me cut off the tail and then part the other fish. How many start season this already? Yes. So you guys gonna see how I want to do it. Just season it up, marinate it. And let it stay. Um, um, and then put it down. You understand? So it's here. And you're going to see when Auntie Dana comes back with the fish to cook it up. So press pause. So guys, in here, so we have some seasons for the fish. I don't know how some do them. Sweet pepper, onion, carrot, thyme. Chili and uh, hot pepper. I'm gonna wash these and cut them up so you guys will see. I'm not supposed to know if I wash them already. So, guys, um, as you can see, I'm gonna wash them out. Yeah, I'm gonna wash them. I'm gonna cut up my um, sweet pepper. I don't know how sweet pepper expenses so I Jamaica $600 per pound for sweet pepper. And then it just dice up your season how you want to dice it. Whatever way, shape, or form, or you want to um, dice it up for your fish, you don't have to do it like Auntie Donna. You can do it in your own little style and um, do it. And um, one more thing, guys, I'm put using okra um, in my brown stew fish. It is not mandatory, it's only if you're the okra person, or the, these are the thyme leaves and the knife there. So you just use the onion, and I'm using two onions for my brown stew fish so I'm gonna just cut up my season and get somebody for all the 
phone for me guys the youth them come where I work and everybody there here at help auntie so you put the onion you make sure you at all times you wash your ingredients and you know I mark as country them are come from come at home I wash them more than one time I want to see them do the right way so sit in a cold water yeah so tomato we use tomato and I'm going to do fish mm -hmm. see there put up the tomato my granny used to say tomatis when me I grew up my grandmother called tomato tomatis for what reason me not know but she said lord god get the tomatis ready I have two tomatoes out of the fridge and I'm like um put in my pepper and I really put in cut up all of them because sometimes they're a bit spicy and of course carrot and I can shot me after I try to cut myself so I'm just doing like this and um cut them up it's a bit easier for auntie cut them as all you want cut them guys remember you cut me here cook so when you going to come back when you see when you're ready to fry the fish all right you can see the okra i'm not ready to cut them up yet because i'm going to put in that last so the okra them are going to stay one place still when auntie donna ready for them all righty so see you again so guys, I'm going to fry the fish now. I want to see my auntie Dana. Um, all them fish are big. I just can't put two in the pot. I don't want them. Oh, that's the thing that I'm doing. I'm putting the pepper and the garlic in the oil for flavor. And I'm going to fry. I don't want to pop up the steak there. The pot. I'm going to put my fish. I'm going to start with your man. You don't want to pack up the pot because you want the fish. You may have big on the pot for your stuff. You want them to fry and don't stick up in the pot and don't separate on the pot. So I'm going to turn over my fish. And right here. Oh, look at this thing. I don't have to worry. So I'm not here. I wear them up like that because it's pimento and the spice in my girl. And I'm going to show you. Take up that thing and wash it off, please. How I make my brand new fish. So, guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm ready to make the brown steel fish. Fish them fry. And put it on one side. Now, for the sauce, for the brown steel sauce. Use the little oil from the fish, come back that side here. I'm mean, like mix my oil with little olive oil, so you know, just keep the little olive oil in this. It just gives a little flavor. Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, olive oil. I remember me asking for myself. I don't want too much oil in other fish, right? I'm gonna mix my when I fry fish. I don't never when I put in the oil. I mix it with olive oil. That's just me, you don't have to do that. And um, I'm going to all of them ingredients here except the okra in a dish. Alright? So you don't want it, the oil to get too hot. What is going on? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. So, you don't want it to get too hot. And you're going to stir it up like that. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, start the um the season, right, guys? Look, let me turn off the pressure cooker because I'm at night. All the people know I cook me in the kitchen. I cook. All the people speak loudly. I don't remember now. So I'm my dinner is me I cook. Yep. And then I come on the next time. Go on the next time. Go on the next time, we have to go live back. I'm never afraid. Alright, so. 
Now I just take a little vinegar and add the fish and the oil. Let me know the fish down and the oil. Yep. Okay, let me see the fish eat at the fire. You don't want this generous only to make the plank of them too. But you know how I work with the generous. So guys, I'm going to make this saute a little. Remember this is just, um, if you remember the vinegar tenderizes it. And I don't like when the fish cook and the sauce, the seasoning, saggy. I like to have them a little bit crunchy. Alright? So, and for that, I think we put the seasoning in the oven and we go. For that, guys, you don't want them to be too crunchy. I so will just heat a low fire. I'm going to try to put a little bit more Maggie on top. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more Maggie. Some walk right there. Yeah, so walk as well jerk seasoning, one of the best, into this, you don't put too much because it is very spicy, you don't have to use that if you don't want, I just like it because it gives my pot a nice little flavor, you understand like the true, and it's my sauce I'm coming along you see. That's that I don't want to get too soggy, so guess what happened? Mixing everything. Um wanna keep a little water in it. Just a small amount of water. Mm-hmm. And you guys might use ketchup. I don't like the ketchup. So I'm using a little barbecue sauce. Just for flavor, yeah. Any barbecue sauce you want to use, any brand of barbecue sauce. And if you try this, I remember you don't put browning in a brown stew, here, yeah, Planka. Browning, just because it ain't brown stew, you guys do not put browning in it. So, yep. Let me turn it up a bit. Now. Mm-hmm. And this is how I should have done it going through. Hold on, let it come up a bit. Got the fire high on right now. And the fish them right here. So, I'm going to think all of it. Just a moment in that video. I don't think all of them, because I want this, when it's boiling up the seasoning, to boil up in the fish, right? So these get them things here, so I like the garlic, so fry another fish, and stuff like that. Let's bring them at the block of them, see? So I can boil up, boil up that general. So guess what happened from each side now? Now I'm going to see the trick about this. So you're going to place the fish... Look how much it drops from the rastadja. Every all of that tonight, this is real cooking. The top of the alicum should I use a bigger pot. I'm going to place them in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, all of them genre on the tree. And you put the seasoning on top. You have to put a bigger pot. Put that side down. You have to eat the other one dry. You have to put the smaller one. Eat a boil up. From that corner, we get the food and saturate it. Now we'll put the other one in there in a planka. Yes, remember now. And I'm going to put my okras on top like this. 
see that? Let's see if I need to get more water. I can put all of the fish them in there. You could take more water. Tip, tip, tip. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to post that one up one top. But it's going to look inside it. So we're going to do it for the camera. When you come out for the camera and cover your fish like that, right? Yep, and it's going to chew down. I'm going to put it in there. What I want to look like that camera. I want to look at Ben that here. Because them, them fish here really big today. I'm going to rest this one on top. When it's a cook me shift them. You hear plank of people? I just got my arm. They have not covered proper eating. Mm -mm. And I don't need to mix that out that one here. And I'm going to let that simmer down a bit. Alright, pause. Then I'm going to open up the fish now. I'm going to put what the other one in there because through a camera purpose, I'm going to want to look and tidy. See right here? Yep, my daddy tastes nice with you guys. It's fast. Smell nice, smell oh my god. And this is how Auntie Dana do I go into fish. See there? Well, I know I go in there. I want a little video to wrap up. See, Auntie Dana moves around this one. See? And in about the next two minutes, let me taste it. Let me taste it again. Mm -mm. And remember, guys, you don't have to use no salt when you use maggi because they already carry salt and most season nowadays have no salt so you don't have to use any salt see here anti dana brown steel fish you can cook your brown steel fish anywhere you want to why you say actually a cook and some peas that's why it looks so but mix vegetable in that I mean I wish on that I'm a fish ready. I'm gonna like when we season them. Overcook and saggy saggy. Alright, I know. And it's cooked for about seven minutes, right? So we keep the pause it. So we're gonna cover about this right there. And leave it like that. And you guys see how oh, don't stop it yet. Let me stop so my plank of them. Oh Auntie Dana do our brown stew fish. See there? Already it smells good. All right, Blanca. So, yes, you've watched the video. And I know most of you are going to be saying that um, she's an excellent teacher because the step-by-step -step instruction that she gave was awesome. So, you can go and try her method of doing her um, brown steel fish and... You can have it for Thanksgiving or just any other time, you know. So enjoy Thanksgiving with your family and your friends and eat what you have to eat. Don't worry about getting fat because what you can do afterwards is to have some cinnamon tea or cinnamon water, which will actually help you in losing the weight. There are a lot of benefits that can be derived from having cinnamon. So enjoy yourself and just work it off when you're done so i've come to the end of my vlog and auntie donna demonstration of doing brown steel fish so enjoy your thanksgiving i'll see you at the next vlog <laughs>